Hello everyone, I want to make a video. I've been doing series uh, for a little bit. I did the five senses. I did the six things that God hates. And today I'd like to start a, a new series on the seven, seven Christian graces. And I'm going to be in 2 Peter uh, 1. Start with verse 1. Uh, I, I, if I did a video on any of these, it would be pretty long maybe an hour 45 minutes at least i think so this way i can break them up into maybe 10 minute videos uh, but this says simon peter i'm in the king james version second peter one one simon peter a servant and apostle of jesus christ all right now peter which are you are you a servant or are you an apostle uh, i i'm i consider myself a servant a minister, but a servant. So to them that obtain like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, he used the word precious. He uses that throughout this. It's a common thread. Uh, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Grace and peace be multiplied. Uh, he's going to tell you some things to add but he's, this, this is going to be multiplied. Uh, you know, if you take <coughs> two tens and you add them together, you get 20. But if you multiply them, you get 100. Multiplication is, is better. Uh, but we're going to start adding things, and that's slower but, <coughs> but more, more permanent. According as, according as his divine power have given us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these you might be the partakers of the divine nature, having shaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And besides this, given all diligence, add to your faith virtue and the virtue knowledge, knowledge temperance and temperance patience, patience godliness and godliness brotherly kindness, and about the kindness, charity, if these things be in you, and abound, they make you that you should neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, I, today, <clears throat> I want to deal with the first one of the virtues he mentions, add to your faith virtue. Now, the faith is already there, but you add virtue in these other things. So, um, so we want to talk about virtue today. Uh, he talks about the divine nature. You know, my nature is 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 different than the divine nature. Uh, we have to bring our nature in subjection to the divine nature. Uh, I, I may have a, a be impatient, and I say that's that's on account of my daddy's side of the family. I may be something else. I'd say on account of my mother's side of the family. But we have to submit. We have to surrender our nature to, to the divine nature. And uh, I told you 10 times 10 is 110 plus 10 is 20 and multiplication is better. I always think about love. If I had $100 and I gave you 50 and I kept 50, I wouldn't have 100 anymore. I'd have 50 and you'd have 50. But if I had love and I gave you all the love that I had, uh, I'd have all I had before I give it to you and you'd have all that you could receive. And he talks like he talks about precious. I told you that that's in there several times, precious. Precious to me, I think about Humpty Dumpty uh, that sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall and all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Uh, if, if you lose what you got, there's things that you lose, you, you will never get them back. So uh, the scripture says, add to your faith virtue. I, I believe this is the kind of faith you receive when you receive the Spirit of God at the beginning. It's like a coat rack. Um, I've got a rack over here. I, I don't think you can sit today. Maybe you can, but uh, I hang my coats on it. The rack went up first, and then I start hanging things on it. He, he's talking about your faith, and then we're going to start hanging seven items to it. Uh, 
faith is what you have to have to hang all the other items he's talking about uh, on. If your faith is anchored, then God can start adding these things to them. And the first item is virtue. Virtue is, uh, you know, I've heard so many different uh, ideas, opinions about what virtue is and what virtue is not. And I don't say I have all the answers. I'm, I'm not saying that. But I think that I've got something to offer you that will give you a different viewpoint on a thing. Uh, the definition of virtue is moral excellence, goodness, righteousness, conformity of one's life and conduct to moral and ethical principles, uprightness, uh, chastity, vir virginity. To lose one's virtue, that's moral excellence. I've also heard it explained as power. Uh, and like I say, I've heard many views on virtue. I had a dream years ago, and in this dream, Melinda had collected some money for something. Uh, you know, people from the church had ordered things from her, and, and they were giving her the money. It was inside. It, it should not be done inside. It should have been outside or, or somewhere like that. But uh, this was just a dream, but it was a true dream. And in the dream, that she was collecting the money. And she handed it to me, and she said, Dale, put this in your pocket because, uh, and and I thought, man, I better get this in my pocket. Meeting's starting pretty soon. And before I could get it in my pocket, there the uh, meeting started. And uh, the Lord got a hold of my mind in this dream. And he would tell me people, I, I didn't, I had ones, fives, tens, and twenties. I don't think I had any hundreds, but I had them stacked. It was stacked like cheese in a restaurant. You've seen, you know, the crisscross. And that's the way that money was. And I didn't know what bill was on top. I didn't pay any attention. But the Lord would tell me who to give that money to. And I, I would just go over there and hand them the money. And uh, the Lord blessed me for the first time uh, in the dream that it wound up being that way in actual life. So I, I went and it, it gave them the top bill. I didn't know what their needs was, but you see, God did. And at about three bills from the end, I, I was thinking, man, me and Melinda need so much money. Lord, if you'd just let me hold these three back bills back for us, I would appreciate it. But he would not let me. He wants you to use everything you've got. So God knew what who needed what. He knew what I had. He knew what they needed, and he matched them up. And uh, I believe that's the way it is. I believe that's virtue. If a man is, you know, when uh, Jesus went through the crowd uh, the woman touched his garment and he said, who touched me? He felt virtue go out. And they said, master, who touched you? What are you talking about? Who touched you? It could have been everybody. They bumping and touching you. But he knew that specific touch. And I think that whenever we get, he gets a hold of our mind and we get a hold of him, he can let us know who he needs what. Uh, I remember when I was lost and I asked the Lord for a sign. And uh, if I still got a chance, Lord, if you're not through with me, if, if I still can come to you, do thus and thus. And he would let it happen. Uh, I believe if a, uh, if a person is a child of God's in tune with God, he can let you know who needs help. It's like that napkin holder that Brother Hubert saw. We saw on that restaurant table. And he said, did I believe we could make a radio out of it? And uh, he said we could put a, a tuning knob and a volume knob and, and an antenna, but it wouldn't pick up anything because it didn't have the works. We've got the works. God can communicate to us, and we can communicate back to him. He can transmit, and we can receive, and then we can transmit back to him. Um, we had a, 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 a TV. We had about four channels in Huntsville back in the day, black and white, I guess. There was an antenna out. There was a window there, just like this one to here. And my dad was standing there, and he'd tell me, Dale, go turn, turn it, turn it towards this way. And I'd, I'd be out there, and he'd be looking at me, and I'd be looking at him, and I'd be turning. And he'd, he'd go on, go on, go on, whoa, right there. And uh, when it was tuned just right, you, we got to set our mind towards the station, the channel. And it's not the me channel, I can tell you that. So uh, we've got, that's the same way our mind works. Virtue narrows it down to that, in my way of looking at it, 
from someone needs help to Sister Mary needs help. Uh, it helps us to hone in on what's needed. So virtue, uh, I think I, we, we eat out a lot, or used to before the coronavirus, and we have a waiter or waitress come up, and they'll say they're Susie or, or John or whatever, and, and they, they're to help us. And, uh, and we run those poor people to death, you know, for a quarter tilt. We, we run them more coffee, more sour cream, more tartar sauce, more and more and more more napkins, and they earn their money, and they earn the money. And say, I am a, a, Peter said he was a, a servant and an apostle. I am a servant, and uh, I, I'd love to get you what you need in this video, in these videos. So I try to pray that the Lord can help deal with my mind so I can he can match up who needs what and I can deliver through him. So may God bless you until next time.